Welcome to 28th of January's Golly Blessing. Now, what would you call as a limit of teasing somebody? Or let's say making jokes about someone or a situation or a person or let's say a circumstance. Shouldn't there be a limit? And that is what is known as Mariada. And that's what we're going to find out over here. That there is a certain thing known as limit or a Mariada. And if you cross that limit, then obviously we are offending somebody. If you're not offending someone, then we're wasting the time or we are wasting someone's precious moments or we're even wasting somebody's mental capacity or mental ability. And we're also diverting people from the real path. And that can add up as a very slight but subtle sin also. So let's understand in God's own words what does he have to say here. Supreme Father says, May you be a highest being who follows the highest codes of conduct and together with being spiritual, also be playful and entertaining. Let's explore that. Some children joke and tease others a lot. And that's what we see even in spirituality, you have to be lighthearted. But then if you're teasing and joking a lot and consider that to be playful and entertaining. Generally, the virtue of being entertaining and playful is considered to be good. It's like being lighthearted, it's like being someone who is not always serious. However, it is being playful in a way that is appropriate for the person. Let's say in terms of spirituality, if you're making fun of somebody's physical features, that is not at all spiritual fun or spiritual joke. It is going to be felt offending, right? Similarly, if you're making joke of somebody's behavior or somebody's intellect, that means you're making fun of someone that someone could even think right at that time and they made fool out of themselves in that situation that is also considered to be offending to that person. Then God says, appropriate for a person, the time is not supposed to be, you're not supposed to make fun of a situation when something serious has happened around or when someone is going through certain difficult times. In a gathering, is it important to make fun? Is it important to be jovial or over jovial or making fun and jokes at that time? So one needs to actually feel the vibrations of the place and then decide what to do. The place and atmosphere, that is good. So God is saying, however, it is being playful in a way that is appropriate for the person, the time, the gathering, place and atmosphere. That is good, God is saying. If out of all of those things, even one of them is not right, so you might be with your friends, but the place is not right. You could be in a in, in a place where the burial is going on or somebody has died and you are, you are just joking around about certain things which might not be of that place, but people might think that you are joking about something of that place itself. So that is something which we need to be very careful about. The atmosphere. What is the kind of atmosphere right now? Is it something which you might be feeling very lighthearted? You might be very intelligent to solve that problem and you might be making a joke or a fun about, about it that why are these people making it so serious? Why are these people going so serious about it? And that might not be the right atmosphere to actually open up your mouth and say certain things which might be joking or entertaining. God then says, if out of all those things even one of them is not right, then being entertaining and playful in such situations would be considered wasteful. You would then receive a certificate of being someone who makes others laugh a lot. That means you might be somebody who's taken by people as, wow, he's so entertaining when he's there, everything is lighthearted and all, everything can be taken in that manner. But who also speaks too much? For some people, it might be too much. So it's not that we are supposed to take a certificate from people to feel as if we are someone who is very entertaining or someone who is very popular. It's not a popularity context going, contest going on. It is very important to be wise enough to be jovial, funny or entertaining with all those conditions. Now God then says, this is why laughing and teasing others is good when there is spirituality. That means other people are not getting offended, no physical features. No, not talking about somebody's intellectuality, a big no-no, physical features, a big no-no. Yes, something light-hearted where the other person is also taking it light-hearted. If the other person is taking it very seriously and you make fun of it, it's going to offend that person. So place, situation, time, atmosphere, everything has to be taken care of. Then God says, in that 
the other soul benefits from it that means the other soul feels lighter that means you make it able to make the other soul feel that oh this is another way of looking at it why am i taking it so seriously if you have got that power then you should use that in- intellectuality the smartness the wit but it should benefit the other person not pull the other person down then god says let your words be within limits within the boundary and you would then be said to be a highest being following the highest codes of conduct that means people will look up to you they'll see that yes you have the right kind of aura the right kind of intellectuality the right kind of understanding of the situation and the person and the people around you and you won't just open up your mouth anywhere and everywhere just being careful is also being wiser and then you come under the category of person who is a higher being who is following the codes of conduct as laid by god so god is all about teaching how to build up a society how to be with everybody around and not cross the boundaries people spend a lot of money to learn this thing a lot of money is being taken out of people's pocket to learn how to be in society to learn how to be a good leader and god over here in brahma kumaris is giving us this for free and teaching us on a daily basis how to be our own mentor how to be in our control of our own five senses so that we can actually be in control of what we have to think say and act in any place any situation around anybody you too can come and learn this beautiful knowledge for free with this om shanti